Among the challenges we face as guitar players is finding the time to practice and uh, finding a situation where we can practice at a volume level that we can live with because guitar amplifiers typically uh, do not sound their best at very low volumes and uh, then it can uh, have a tone that's not very pleasing and it, it can make our, our uh, it kind of tends to sap your motivation a little bit when, when what you're hearing coming out of the amp does not sound so great. So um, I'm going to show you a product here that can help address both of those issues. This is the Toneport UX2 from Line 6. This product is available for a couple of hundred dollars from uh, outlets like Musician's Friend or your, your local guitar center. And uh, certainly there are others if you want to look into that. And they also make a scaled down version uh, of this product. It's uh, not quite as feature laden as this one and it's just a very simple guitar interface. And uh, what these products allow you to do is plug your guitar into your computer and then if you have a decent set of computer speakers then you can actually play your guitar through your computer. And <clears throat> the great benefit of this is that uh, it would allow you to uh, manipulate your guitar tone uh, down to very low volume. So it's a computer program that simulates the tones of a guitar at much higher volume, but it will allow you to retain that tone down to very low volumes, among the many other things that this product will do. So let's take a close-up look at it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so let's give this thing a look over and see what's going on. Uh, we've got here a couple of speaker input jacks, XLR type cables, and then you have over here the uh, phantom power with your 48 volts. This is for your condenser type microphones. Uh, you can also use this as a microphone recorder, obviously a vocal recorder. And here is your guitar jack. You just plug your guitar in here just like you would be plugging into an amplifier if you're just going to plug it in, into this box instead. Here's a padded instrument input. You could use this for instance a bass that has a very large output signal and what the pad does is it knocks down the signal level so it doesn't overdrive the UX2. Here are your uh, level meters that will help you uh, see what kind of level you have coming in to make sure you don't overdrive the UX2's input and if you do there's a light here that will show you that you're clipping or distorting the input signal because it's too large. Okay, here is a headphone jack output. So if you live in an apartment, this is a great option for being able to play your guitar and practice and uh, not disturb your neighbors. And there's your separate uh, volume control for your headphone jack there. And here are your gains, your input gain controls for your, for your two microphones. Okay. Now, let's flip this over and see what's going on on the back here. We have a couple of line inputs. This would be, for instance, if you want to uh, run your stereo uh, through here or any other kind of line level signal uh, to play along with, then uh, you can do that here. Here's some foot switch jacks for if you want to utilize effects like a wah pedal. Okay. And here is your USB input, which is one that I, which is what I use for my, uh, plugging into my computer where the where the software uh, management is going to be located. Here is a digital output. This would be, for instance, a certain type of recording devices like a digital audio tape might have uh, this type of uh, input jack. So you have that available for. Uh, separate recording if you need that and then here's your stereo monitor in and this would be again if you want to uh, run your signal uh, if you want to like play along uh, with with a signal out of your stereo uh, then you could run that in, into this jack right here and it's going to turn it around and push it back out these analog out jacks okay now what these are for if you don't want to use your computer speakers for whatever reason, you can hook up uh, a separate speaker system for uh, just the, the output of this line six box here. Um, for instance, like in my case, I actually use a 
couple of studio monitors uh, for monitoring my guitar signal so that gives you the option you you can use the computer speakers uh, if you want to it just gives you another option and particularly if you're into recording then uh, this uh, hooking up a pair of studio monitors here might be a better option and, and with these outputs you actually could use this device as the sound card for your computer if you have a sound card that's not uh, really very good quality then this would give you the option of uh, having a high quality output for a, a separate pair of speakers from the computer okay one of the things that I really appreciate about this device is that it will allow a, somebody who's new to guitar to experiment with some different kinds of amps and tones to see what you really like before you think about going and uh, spending some big money on an amplifier. Now, of course, this is not going to give you a, a perfect simulation of a real amplifier, but it's going to give you some kind of general idea of, of what some different kind of the historic kind of amps sound like. Now, I'm not going to be able to go over every feature of this thing because it has a bunch of them, but I'm going to go over some of the basics with you. So, uh, I've called up here uh, on the top of the screen. There's a button up here labeled Tone. I'm not sure if you can see that clearly, but uh, this allows you a, a drop-down menu <clears throat> that will allow you a bunch of different preset built-in amp simulators. <clears throat> So here is, for instance, uh, the bass amps that you can use. And then here's some preset clean guitar tones. Crunch guitar, which is kind of a slight uh, overdrive. And then here's your heavy guitar. Here's your vocal amps. Okay, so you have um, a wide range of kind of uh, in, in simulated input devices that will change the kind of tone that you get. Okay, so uh, let's listen to, for instance, here's a clean guitar tone. Let me turn that up a little bit. I'm going to use this monitor volume right here. You just put your mouse over this and then just push the mouse up and that actually turns the knob and then it will raise the volume. Okay. So as you can see this has your drive, bass, middle, and treble controls just like the you know it's made to simulate the front panel of a of an amplifier. And these uh, amp simulations are based on the uh, the some of the historically very popular amps. And then you have the option down here. You can actually change the amp that you're using. And they have a number of of uh, amps that Line 6 has created and then you have some simulations of your historic amps like your, some of your historic Fender and uh, Marshall amps that were very popular.